hello guys welcome to another video today i thought of sharing another small tip with you guys that i have came across uh, while working on one of my side projects that's about how to import your local images dynamically for your next js component if you want to display your local images dynamically so these are the steps uh, that you can follow to do that so this is in here this is a sample uh, next.js application and i am inside the pages uh, file in the dynamic route so here i have a simple uh, component that returns few images so in here the first approach if you have a look this is the most common approach right you have this my image which you have imported from public and you straightforward display it on here and this is uh, the most straightforward way and uh, if you want to you know display the images conditionally using if else statement you can like uh, if you want to uh, display my image on one condition then you can display it in here and in the else state you can display the other image but if you go through this approach, you will have to import all the images in all the uh, conditions that you have to use. So you have to import all the images uh, using import. You can, you have to import my image one, two, three, and display it in a condition, con conditionally. Uh, that's not the most straightforward approach, right? So in here, in the second component, if you have a look here, I have. Uh, you created this select image component uh, where it conditionally returns two images but if you have a look at the src folder you can see i haven't imported this uh, car one image from here it gets imported when we call this select image right it, it impo imports dynamically so there are two ways to import local images dynamically one is this local host approach you know this is the uh, uh, port and the url that our local uh, web application runs and this from this point it directly points to the public folder of our project so port 3000 slash means it's inside the public folder and here you have the images and then you can based on the incoming string i am dynamically uh, displaying these images uh, to follow this approach you have to uh, change some of the next configurations so let's move to next.config.mjs here you have to add these images object with this remote patterns array right so you have to set the protocol to http and host name uh, to localhost and also you can uh, set the port here and also if you very specifically approve uh, very specifically if you want to set the path name you can set it from here so if you set this path name and everything so this url should exactly uh, match this url this section up to the images part this should exactly match uh, with this section here so you can do that so i have ignored that one so anything from localhost it approves maybe from port 3000 4000 that approves uh, but if you if, if you want to make this in the production version you have to you know set this localhost 3000 using env folder and once it hosted you may have to change these items uh, change this localhost and url to the uh, hosted platform and so on uh, and the next approach is here so this is you can uh, using the require keyword here you know uh, you can import your item right so using relative imports you can import it and instead of this car4.jpg you can you know just uh, display what's coming from here right so you can just uh, add it like this in here so in this approach 
uh, you can use require and import your uh, Next.js uh, local images uh, dynamically. So that's it. I, I couldn't find any straightforward uh, tutorials uh, explain about these approaches in YouTube. So that's why I thought of uh, creating this. And so that's it. So these are the ways that you can import images dynamically. Either you can use localhost 3000 or else uh, you can go with require. So using require, you don't need to uh, place your images only on the public folder you know you can place your image on anywhere and you can just switch this uh, file name dynamically and you know you can adjust it i hope you guys uh, you know get something out of it and make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and let's meet with another quick tutorial like this